Hi my friends, it's Miss Kate from School 1057 in San Marcos, California, and today we are going to be doing a butterfly static electricity science experiment. Now, before we get into the science of this activity, I need to create my butterfly. So, to create my butterfly, I have a cardboard cutout that I decorated with some dot paints. I have butterfly wings that I cut out of tissue paper. I have a cutout of the body of a butterfly that I made out of construction paper, some googly eyes, and a pipe cleaner that I made into the antennae of the butterfly. Now, I also have here a hot glue gun to put my butterfly together, but you can also use regular glue or tape. If you choose to use the hot glue gun, just make sure that you get a grown-up to help you. Now, to start putting my butterfly together, I'm going to take my butterfly wings and place them on my cardboard. Now, I don't want to glue the entire thing onto the cardboard because the science experiment is to make our butterfly fly. So instead, I'm just going to flip my wings over and I am going to put some glue just in the center of the wings so that they lay flat onto the cardboard. So you flip it over and I'm just adding a little bit more glue just to the very center of my wings. Okay, once you have the glue on your wings, make sure to carefully put them on your cardboard and just press down gently, especially if you're using hot glue. Be very, very careful when you press down. And now my wings are glued to the cardboard, but they can still flap like this. So the next step is to take the body of my butterfly and lay it right on top, just like this. Now, I need to glue this down too, but I want to make sure not to glue the head down because we have stuff we're going to put underneath it. So again, I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm just going to put the glue on the body of the paper and not on the head. Okay, once you have enough glue, you can also put that right in the center of the butterfly wings. And I'm patting it down to make sure it glues down nicely. Okay, then when you're done with that step, you're ready to move on to the antennae. So for the antennae, we're going to place it underneath the head of the butterfly. So that means I want to lift up the head and put the antennae right underneath like this. So I'm going to take glue again, and I'm going to glue on top of the bottom of the antennae, just like that. And now I'm going to lift the head of the butterfly to put my antennae underneath, just like this. And again, pat it gently so you don't burn your fingers. Now, once that is down, the only step that's left is to put the googly eyes on. So I'm going to put one dot of glue on each eye and put it on my butterfly. So I have one. One goes right here and one on the other side. Okay, my friends, once you're done with that, you have your butterfly. So we are ready for the science experiment part of this activity. So we have to make our butterfly wings flap. We need to make them fly. How do we do that? We are going to be doing that using static electricity. Now, I have a balloon here that is going to help me create static electricity so that I can make my butterfly wings fly. So what I'm going to do is create an electric charge. Now you can create an electric charge by rubbing two objects together like this and creating friction. Have you ever been to the playground and slide down the slide and then you get an electric shock? Or have you ever rubbed a balloon on your head and the static electricity makes your hand stand up? Those are both caused by an electric charge from static electricity. So we are going to make an electric charge by creating friction between the balloon and my hair so that we can make our butterfly wings fly. Are you ready? Okay, so I'm going to start by rubbing the balloon in my hair. 
and you see that there's friction being caused because I'm rubbing the two objects together. Now you can see my hair might be a little staticky, and I'm going to take the electric charge that's on this object, the balloon, and we're going to see if we can make our butterfly fly. <gasps> my friends, do you see? When I place the balloon on the wings, it makes them move up. So the more static electricity that you make, the more friction, the bigger the electric charge. So let's try that again. <gasps> My friends, when I put the balloon lower towards the tissue paper, the tissue paper is nice and light, so the electric charge lifts the paper and makes the wings look like they're flying. Now my friends, this is a really fun art project turned science experiment that you can do at home. So I hope you have such a great time playing with your butterfly that you make however you want, using whatever colors you would like, and watching the static electricity make your butterfly flap its wings. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!